Hi. So next question is that we are taking a right now. Uh, earlier we did eighth one. Now this is ninth one. Little bit advanced of the eighth version. Input name and marks in two subject. Again the same thing which we are inputting. Display result. Same thing. A result is declared as pass if he gets forty or more marks in each subject. And and this is something interesting which I have added into the question. And average should be fifty or more or else fail. So student will fail. A uh, student will pass only if he gets 40 marks in each subject, and average should be more than 50. It is similar to in your CA inter examination, whatever happens, right? So let's let's go ahead with this flow chart carefully. You have to listen to me first. Do not write. And what I want you to know, you if you want, you can practice by yourself. Just stop the video, and after practice, you look at the answer. Both way you can do. Or first you watch me carefully. Now this time you should be very careful. Hey, start button. You remember this? Good. Thanks a lot. Now, what was this button called? Clear all working location. Perfect. Now tell me. Oh, sir, this was input button. Yes, perfectly set by you. Name. You remember M A N. We can have M B. That marks in A subject. Marks in B subject. Two subjects are there. Perfect. Now what we will do? We need 40 marks in each subject. Then only you are pass. So let's have. This time I'll make it little different so that you can understand it can be made in n number of ways. So let's have M A greater than or equal to 40. If answer is yes, then only you should check another one. Otherwise the student will directly fail. Yeah. M A greater than 40. So that was M A. Now this is M B. Sorry. Sometimes you know when we make this diagram, we make it so small that we it is difficult to write what we want to see, give the content. So always write a little big one. Our diagram should be the big one. Other question you may uh, you may have that uh, sir should we make it by pencil? So institute had not said that it should be made by pen only. But preferable pen is okay if you are confident with your diagram. Just go with the pen only. You can decide rough diagram in your mind and you can directly start with the actual diagram. So let me go ahead with this. What was the next condition? If answer to this is yes, then I have to check the average. You remember that average? But for average, I need to calculate the average, no? So this is a process box to calculate my average marks. A stands for average. M A plus M P. Oh, I closed the box. So always have this kind of boxes like open boxes first you do all your calculation and then you go ahead with close it see this is a better way remember this okay fine so this is just I calculated the average I have to check no so here I am checking question mark a should be greater than or equal to 50 if all the answer to this question is yes 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 then only you are pass so here is another process box which declare result as a pass otherwise otherwise the guy should be fail this is the only way to pass all the things you have to clear as a pass so i'm taking this as a no okay fine this is also no let it so let this no come down oh say so this also comes to no so there are multiple no's in all no's the student should fail so we can have result out here so let me take you to down there so here result would be fail so any no result is fail i will add this here so let's uh, have a print command quickly so what was the print command this time i made a print command little different to make you understand that print command can be like this so print will be r print will be r and uh, then more you remember the more yes if even if you don't make this more it's fine no problem more will be you remember this connector yes perfect yes if user says no i don't want to continue stop the program oh this time it has really gone little big one right uh, had i made it horizontal everything would have been in this flat form but it's okay now you can see this what happened so just run through go through this once one more time so that 
I'll make you understand. First condition was, sorry, this was the first condition to check first subject. If answer is yes, I will check the another subject. But in between, I have to process the average because average is not there now. So we have to total the both the subjects and divide it by two. I got the average in variable called A. This is my variable. Okay. If you have not seen my basic lecture, please go back and see first video. Then you will understand what is variable. And if variable A is greater than 50, that means my average is greater than 50 or at least 50. If this answer is yes, then only the student should be passed. So I have not written here. Yes. Oh, no need. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. This is done. So you remember the textual data should be in inverted commas. I put it into inverted comma. Print command is there and then the more command. Look at this start to end. Now you'll try by yourself and you'll watch this and find out your answer is correct or huh? not. Thank you very much.